ഓക്കെ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഐ വിൽ ലോഗിൻ ടു മൈ ഉണ്ടു മെഷീൻ വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ഇ സി ടി മെഷീൻ ആണല്ലേ സോ ലോഗിൻ ടു മൈ ഉണ്ടു മെഷീൻ വെയിറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സക്സസ്ഫുള്ളി കണക്റ്റഡ് മൈ ഉണ്ടു മെഷീൻ സുഡോസു ഐ ചെക്ക് വെതർ ആം എബിൾ ടു ആക്സസ് മൈ സെർവർ ഓർ നോട്ട് സൊ ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ ഉണ്ടു മെഷീൻ ഐ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ പബ്ലിക് എ പി അഡ്രസ് ദെൻ ഐ വിൽ ചെക്ക് വെതർ ആം എബിൾ ടു ആക്സസ് ഓർ നോട്ട് പെർഫെക്റ്റ്ലി ആം എബിൾ ടു ആക്സസ് എഞ്ചിനിയക്സ് റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ so first we have to remove that particular file i have to go to my virtual machine then rm minus rf then i can go to your etc nginx then sites sites enable default so this page we or this directory we have to remove end so successfully deleted uh, suppose if i go to this directory you will be able to find one empty directory over there i'll go to that directory but cd then unless you can see that i don't have any files over there right okay so now i will create one file on cd slash ls ls so i will create one file over here conf.d okay so that magically we have to create here you can see that create a load balancer dot conf dot file or else you can create any file no problem you can create ashik dot conf or reverse proxy dot conf okay but that should be create where conf.d so once you connect etc nginx instead nginx you will be able to find one directory conf.t so instead you have to create one directory or one file you have to create load balancer.conf or reverse proxy.conf so i am going to create one file over there so i'll go to my uh, virtual machine cd then conf.t ls i don't have any files over here right so i will create a file to create a file nano so i will click proxy dot conf then end okay So now I will copy and paste this script over there. So we have a predefined script. I'll copy and paste this script. Copy and paste. Where is my server? So I paste over here. Okay. So what I will do here? I will remove these two servers. You can see that I have a two backend servers over here, right? I'll remove these two servers. So then I will put. whatever is ip address so that slash the ip address i will put over you so what is ip address so this one right so i'll copy this then i will paste over there paste so i'll remove this https we not require this we not require this slash as well okay fine so now i will put one semicolon over you uh, that is enough okay port number 80 that is listening okay So if you come down, you'll be able to find server name over here, right? So here I will mention my Nginx server public IP address. Okay, I'll go to my virtual machine. Then I will get the public IP address of my Nginx. Then paste over here. Okay, that also done, right? Control O, enter Control X. System CTL, sorry. So that will not work over here. See if I put System CTL, uh, start. nginx it will not work over here okay to ubuntu and so in some ubuntu system we have to use service then no nginx restart okay so this we have to do okay sorry nginx then restart uh service nginx restart code one minute proxy dot con there are some issues with that <laughs> wait one minute but no eh i done inverter what was your ip address i don't repeat it ip address varne eh eh kedla 
Okay, please refresh your page. Whatever the IP address is already got, so please refresh the page and remove HTML. Okay, don't put HTML. Remove HTML then refresh. Test page refresh. Keep on refresh. But I'm just creating. Okay, wait one minute. Okay, so now you can refresh. What are you getting? Hello world. Refresh. Refresh, refresh. Keep on refresh. So it will go to test page. Yeah. Then, so that is load balancing. I have a two virtual machine. So one is my uh, proxy server C. 
So now what happened? You know, see, see, I created two virtual machines. So one is Amal virtual machine. Another one is I created our virtual machine. So this is my proxy server. So when you access this proxy server, so this is keep on changing. So first it will send the request to our then it will send the request to our In production scenario, we will be have the same application on both virtual machine. Okay. Suppose I'm getting thousand requests. So this thousand requests will be segmented into five hundred over here and five hundred over here. We can ban and server though. Okay. So without any overhead, the server will not be crashed. Okay. See, that is not necessary to use Nginx as a load balancer. We can go with the AWS as well. Okay. Because AWS is highly available. The problem is, see, suppose something happened for this Nginx server. You have to create another Nginx server. Then you have to do the configuration, right? But when it comes to AWS load balance, that is highly manageable. In the sense, highly available, we don't need to manage anything. So completely managed by who? Yeah. AWS, that's it. That is not going to fail. Okay, so that's the difference. But if you're using AWS load balance, bit expensive if you go with the Nginx, so that is less expensive. If you go with any law organization, for example, any small application, you can go with Nginx as a load balance. If you have a MNC company or if you have a high application, mission critical application, then you have to go with the AWS load balance. You can reduce your expense. If you're getting any question how we can reduce our expense and all, you can just put this question in front of it. Okay? Any doubt? So now you have done with Nginx load balancer. Nginx. We can use Apache, we can use Tomcat, everything we can use for load balancer, proxy server. But the primary purpose is a web server. So that is going to distribute the traffic among the uh, users. That's it. Okay. But we can convert one web server into proxy server, reverse proxy server, load balancer. I hope you understood. If any doubt, please let me know.